when choosing a security camera, one of the most important specifications to check is the minimum illumination. Camera brochures sometimes give misleading minimum illumination values, so watch this video and know what to look for. Sony brochures clearly state the parameters that were used when measuring minimum illumination. Video level, shutter speed, F number, and gain all affect the minimum illumination value. It's easy to artificially improve the minimum illumination value by measuring it at a slow shutter speed. The problem is, moving objects are blurred at this speed. Let's measure the minimum illumination for two cameras using a grayscale chart. Camera A is the Sony SNC CS50. Its minimum illumination specification is 0.4 lux, and camera B has a specification of 0.2 lux. You'd naturally assume that 0.2 lux is better than 0.4 lux. But this is not always the case. Let's see why. As we dim the room lighting, the video levels fall. Sony specifies minimum illumination for security cameras at 50 IRE. When the video level of camera B reaches 50 IRE, its illumination value is 1.4 lux. In other words, measuring the minimum illumination of camera B using the Sony method gives a value of 1.4 lux instead of the brochure's 0.2 lux. When the video level of camera A reaches 50 IRE, the illumination is 0.4 lux, matching the value specified in its brochure. If we dim the lighting to 0.2 lux as specified in the camera B brochure, the video level drops to 10 IRE. What this means is that at 0.2 lux, the monitor image has only 10% of its original contrast and brightness. Which security camera would you choose for your surveillance applications? When Sony specifies the minimum illumination value for a security camera, the measurement parameters are clearly identified. And these parameters are representative of conditions typically required for surveillance monitoring activities.